Hi friends, we will understand about checkboxes. This uh, component a user has, can submit more than one option and options are not mutually exclusive like radio button. That is the basic difference between a checkbox and a radio button. So let us start with input type checkbox. Now name I am giving, let us give red, color name I am giving, value let us say yes. Now I will write the label here, this will for display purpose. Give a line break. Now copy up to this, paste it here. Now input type checkbox name, I will change it to blue. Value yes, let us type here blue. One more we will give, let us go to, let us make it green. These are three checkboxes we are adding, offering to the users to select whatever he selects. Fine. So, these are the three. Let us uh, save this and refresh this space. Okay. Now, user can select anything or unselect anything. This check boxes. Now, one more thing. You can give a option here. Checked. Checked means by default when I refresh when the page loads, this will be in the checked condition. I can do one more thing also. I can disable it also. I can say disabled. I will save it, refresh it. This is disabled, disabled from the user. Now, let us remove this disable. We will see it. But how to handle when you receive this? I am saving this. Now, let us first set it how we will receive. We will say echo. Now, we will say first is red. The value, this is the label only. Now, the value will get it like same as uh, text box. What you get it? post now we'll say red now after this let's add one line break that way we can differentiate so the, the now like that we have to manually uh, create two more so i just copied it pasted it one more i will use paste so this is for red this is for blue and this is i will make it data blue now red, blue, then green. So, this is how we will receive the all the three data from the value of the checkboxes. I am saving this. Come back to my this page, refreshing once. Fine. Blue is checked. I think let me see by default we kept it checked. Okay. I am submitting green. Now, I am submitting this. You can see red, there is no value. Blue is yes, green is yes. So, this is how the uh, value. Suppose I will just select red and remove blue. Now red and green are yes. So red is yes, green is yes. So when the when it is unchecked, the value will not carry. If it is checked by the user, because it can have only two state check or unchecked. So this is how the check buttons will carry it. Now let's understand when I am disabling it. By default, I kept it uh, checked, checked, and now I will disable. How this data is handled? Now let me refresh it. You can see I am I can't access this. Now this will not also though it is checked, it will not be available. You will see that nothing is there. Now I will check something else. Red I will check. Let's see. Red is yes. Blue and green are not there because though it is checked, but it is disabled. Once it's disabled, it's no more available in the form. By some other logic, we can develop it that if that condition is true, then you make it enable. That can be done by adding a JavaScript or a jQuery or other uh, coding uh, languages to this. This is basically how a checkbox works.